trolls. I'm high time I talk about trolls. Um, for those of you still unfamiliar with trolls, allow me to give you the definitive guide to trolls. Rule 1. No one is qualified to give you the definitive guide to trolls. Rule 2. There is no rule 2 because rule 1 disqualifies all rules. Rule 3. Now you're not even listening. It is a generally accepted definition that a troll is a person who goes online deliberately to disrupt or mislead others. In most cases this is true. Examples of common species include the sackmouth gutter troll, a relatively benign species that bobs from site to site, giving its distinctive four-letter mating call. The adolescent fallopian troll uh, can be transmitted through sexual anxiety and can usually be found on Facebook, uh, declaring, the, the, declaring the prevailing ugliness of each and every individual encountered, yet continuing to reel off ever more macabre descriptions of the sexual visitings that will be rendered upon them all. There's the common or garden dung troll, whose mission is of course to shit all over any given subject. Then of course there's the, the dung troll louse, its accomplice with whom it pretends to agree and or disagree, lulling its luckless victims to take the same juicy bait. In contrast, yet often habitually and even part of the same uh, e ecosystem, is the Gnud Troll, aptly named as the opposite of the Dung Troll, whose only purpose is to shit all over any subject which is not given. It is said that all Gnud Trolls the world over answer in unison to the psychic call of their overfuhrer, Hor Troll, destroyer of all things beautiful. Then of course there's the one-eyed Butthurt Troll, who will always troll on the subject of the same Butthurt, regardless of which discussion or which site or even which language is being trolled. And of this there are many subspecies, the racism one-eyed butthurt troll, the religion one-eyed butthurt troll, the men are bastards one-eyed butthurt troll, and the fatuous gossip about some mental redneck bin in another country one-eyed butthurt troll, and of course the infamous my kids are awesome and my life is really interesting and I really don't have any butthurts one-eyed butthurt troll. So the colloquial definition seems to be as follows, a person who goes online deliberately to disrupt or mislead others. But if we tackle the technicalities, every ingredient of this definition is reducible. Let's take it in reverse order. Disrupt and mislead. Well, it's bound to be a struggle to find any words to describe something that all trolls do. Trolls tend to do the opposite of everything, and so many of them do the opposite of the opposite of everything, and so on. In any case, disrupting and misleading are things that normal people do in normal conversations. It's nothing to do with trolls. <laughs> in fact, even uh, we recently discovered that a, a lurker, a lurker, which was once thought to be completely unrelated to the troll, turns out in fact to be a kind of troll because lurking is a way of misleading people into believing that you're not really there. The devil's greatest trick. Note: Satan was a troll. <laughs> By these criteria, almost everyone, in fact. Arguably, everyone is a troll. And that brings us to the most controversial word of all. Deliberately. One of the only things that frustrates a troll is when their work is superseded and their position usurped by a real person who manages to disrupt and mislead everyone in their path purely by means of their own organically grown stupidity. This led trolls everywhere to unearth a rather unnerving statistic that at least 60% of all the world's trolling is technically done by people who are unaware that they're doing it. Almost indecipherably blurring the lines between troll and real person, this, this, this threw an ominous shadow over the theory that trolling is a man-made phenomenon. It turns out that trolling is not a system, but a natural essence, an ethereal presence that precedes not only civilization, but life itself. We can then immediately dismiss the word online. Because, as by now, We've all witnessed it. Many of us have even participated in it and maybe even instigated the universal rock bottom that is the IRL troll. It is when you fuck with people. It is whenever you fuck with people and for whatever reason, but especially for the lols. Uh, good examples of IRL trolls include Hitler, Stalin, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, etc. <laughs> there is such a thing as a righteous troll. We'll get back to that. Stalin. Trolling is by no means strictly internet based. The internet just acts like a magnifying glass on, on the very darkest of human behaviour. And so, 
person, last but by no means least, in fact, first, who says we're dealing with a person here? Just like 90% of the history of life on Earth has been microbial filth. 90% of the entities online consist of one life form. The spam troll. It's a viral species, of course, and all other trolls answer to it, cow before it, and curse its name with every breath of our withered soul! The spam trolls could wipe out AIDS like that, just engulf it, just, just crush it, just pick it up in its in its nanomorphous extremities and just crinkle it up into smithereens. Millions of smithereens. <laughs> Bake them into a smithereen pie. And then give it to old Mrs. Smithereen down the road and say, look, I've made a pie with the same name as you. Fuck, what, yeah, what universe are we in now? Hey. So, yeah, you, 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 you judge ye not for us being trolls. Like any virus, we are only harboring behaviours that are present at our most fundamental level. It is all around us. There must be chaos for you to live and breathe, and here you are living and breathing, therefore you are... Troll! You are all made of troll! The thing that you colloquially call troll is just the minority of trolls who know they are trolls. And within that minority, there is a minority of trolls who know they are trolls and admit to being trolls. And deep within that minority is a tiny little nugget of that rarest of beasts, the righteous troll. So rare, in fact, that there is only one. And it is I. Say it with me. It is I. But, having said all that, on quite the other hand, do be careful with your trolling, because we've all seen what happens when trolling gets way, way out of hand. Is like... <laughs>